let us see a few questions and answers in Six Sigma because these are generally asked. So let us have a look. What is Six Sigma? Six Sigma is a statistical measure of variation in the processes. So we say a processor achieved Six Sigma if uh, the quality is 3.4 uh, dpm, means defects per million opportunities. It's a problem solving methodology that can be applied to a process to eliminate the root cause of the defects and cost associated with it. So Six Sigma DPMO means defects per million opportunities and measures variation in process that is 3.4 DPMO. Can you explain the different methodology for the execution and the design process stages in Six Sigma? The main focus of Six Sigma is to reduce defects and variation in the processes. Okay, main focus is reduce reduction of the defects and variation in the process. So DMAIC and DMADV that is uh, this is define, measure, analyze, improve and control. But DMADV means define, measure, analyze, design and verify. So these are the models used in most sigma uh, six sigma activities. DMA DV is the model for designing process, while DMIC is used for improving the process. So this is for designing. The second one and the first one is for improving the process. So DMA DV, which is for designing process, it includes five steps. First is define, means determine the project goals and the requirement of customers. Measure means Assess customer needs and specification. Analyze means ex examine uh, process options to meet customer requirement. Then design means develop the process to meet the customer requirements. And verify means check the design to ensure that it's meeting customer requirements. So this is DMAIC and DMADV. While this DMAIC, this model includes these steps is define the project goals and deliverables to customers internal and external describe and quantify both defects and expected improvements and measure the current performance of the process and validate data to make sure it is credible and set the baselines now analyze and determine the root causes of the defects and narrow the casual factors of the vital few then improve the process to eliminate defects and optimize the vital few um, and their interrelationship so control the performance of the process and lock down the gains. Can you explain the fishbone or Ishikawa diagram? There are situations where we need to analyze what caused the failure or problems in a, in a project. So the fishbone or Ishikawa diagram is one important concept which can help you find the root cause of the problem. The fishbone are conceptualized by Ishikawa. So in honor of its inventor, this concept was named the Ishikawa diagram. And inputs to conduct a fish bone diagram come from discussion and brainstorming with people involved in the project. So these are, I'll show, just show you that Ishikawa diagram. So the main bone is uh, the problem which we need to address to know what caused the failure. Okay. For instance, the falling fish, this fish bone is constructed to find the cause, what caused the Project failure. To know this cause, we have taken four main bones as input: finance, process, and people, and tools. Okay. So in this finance, see these are variable factors: many resignates, no job satisfaction, or maybe the cause may be uh, tools, no training, no tools were used. No resource has um, knowledge of tools. On this process, we have process was adopted. Marketing people didn't negotiate tight deadlines. So all these things can cause uh, project, uh, project failing, and the impact can also be seen. So this is a Ishikawa or fishbone diagram. So what are the different kinds of variation used in Six Sigma? Variation is in this uh, is the basis of Six Sigma. It defines how many changes are happening in the output of the process. So if a process is improved, then this should reduce variations. So in Sigma, we identify variation in the process, control them and reduce or eliminate defects. 
So there are few uh, basic ways, actually four basic ways of measuring uh, variation. Uh, this is variation measuring, difference uh, between measurement. This is mean, median, mode and range. So mean means average, median means mid points in the series, mode means most repetitive values and range means difference between highest and lowest value. Let me explain standard deviation. The most accurate method of quantifying variation is by using standard deviation. So it indicates the degree of uh, variation in a set of measurement or a process by measuring the average spread of data around the mean. It's more complicated than the deviation process discussed just now, but it does give accurate uh, information. So this is how it is computed. This sigma is standard deviation. X is the observed value. X bar is the mean of observed value computed like this. N is the number of observations. Sigma is the sum. So this was the um, you know content of few questions that are asked in Six Sigma, and hope you'll be benefited by it. Thank you so much.